Okay. Ooh, we're back. We're we're here now. Professional as always. Professional as always. We're good. We're good. We're good. What is the plan today? We're in Quadraquinus, of course. How is everyone doing? I'm gonna read off the names as I see them. Aiden H, William Tyler, Megan, of course, is here. Reagan Nash. Uh, my God, William Tyler, Mystical Wolf God. Hey, how are you, Jarrett Levin? Good. Hello, hello. Celeste is here. Charles Wibley. Am I the only one who prefers YouTube? There are quite a few people who prefer YouTube. This is why we keep it going. That's what I'm talking about. Hooking hogs with Henry. How's it going? And Stevens. Roger. Roger. Is it Cruz or Crows? I'm gonna. I. I'm thinking Cruz, but at the same time, maybe it is Crows. Tricky Marsh too. How's it going? Landon Jackson. My goodness, Andrew rides is here as well. Landon plays. Wish I could be like you. It all it all comes with time, man. All comes in time. Jared Levengood loves your vids. Hey, thank you so much, Jared. That's awesome. Tony Tafoya, love your vids. Keep it up. Hey, thank you. And Squish is in the chat. Squish is in the chat. What is up, Squish? How's it going? How was the rain earlier today? Goodness gracious. I was seeing the uh the pictures on Discord. My god, it looked crazy. If you if you're not on the Hunter Discord and uh you're not able to take take part in these uh general discussions on the general page of the Hunter Discord, everyone just seems to to get to know each other. And by the time you come to the stream, then you know, then then it's like, oh my god. Here we are in the stream. Um, and it's a great way, you know, sometimes in the stream you meet people and then you get to talk to them a little bit more on Discord when it's not the stream. It's just a good time. The BZ Hub Discord. Fun. Fun for all. I've had five max level animals today. My goodness gracious, Hans Stevens, you're on top of it. Case and Bailey, hello, hello. I recently became a subscriber and recently followed your Twitch too and your content is 1 million plus sub content. Very professional. Thank you so much, Kaysen. Um, you know, I'm honestly, tomorrow I'm going to have a video out that does not seem like it, but I hope you enjoy it all the same. We're going to be shooting a, a target, a bow target, and, uh, you know, I'm not promising that I'm, uh, that I'm very good, you know. It's been years since I've shot a bow, but I decided, you know what, let's make a video about it. And then I go ahead and I show you some of the things that I used to do when I was younger to get better at shooting the bow. So if anything, maybe it's a learning opportunity, you know? We're gonna use this rock. Rest our rest our little rifle on this rock. Well, oh, this guy's running. This guy's running. Three diamond white tails today. Well, maybe we should be in uh Leighton Lakes. What are we doing here in Quatro Colinas getting three diamond white tail today? Goodness gracious. Tropical storm heading right toward your town. Reagan Nash, my God, there's been so many people that have been dealing with tropical storms. So it seems like you are just in there as well. It is crazy. So flipping wet, no surprising, but heck, was that rain very, very wet. <laughs> yeah, gosh darn. It seemed, it's, it definitely seemed wet. From the picture, the rain seemed wet. So, I mean, that's, yeah, it sounds like it. I watched your other vid today. You watched the other vid today. The one, the, the beginner series of the Hunter Call of the Wild. Well, thanks for watching, Landon. TMOC is here. How's it going? I like T Mock. T Mock? It's like something you could yell when you see someone far away. T Mock! Over here! Over here! I don't, I don't know. It just sounded fun. <laughs> T Mock. <clears throat> Let's drop some bucks today. You know, we're at the moment we're dropping stags. Stags work. Do stags work as well, Roger Crows? I'm I'm late. I was shooting Clay Pigeon Dylan Rosler. That sounds amazing. You know, I I you know I think that's a good reason to not be here. You know, that sounds like a, a good time. You're awesome, Bo. You're awesome, Andrew Rides. I'm in a hurricane now too. Hook and hogs with Henry. Stay safe. Stay dry. I can't say much more. I mean, in Kansas, of course, we have, like, uh, tornadoes, but I can only think of, like, two or three times that we had to, like, actually, like, you know, go into the basement and, like, uh, hunker down for a tornado. So, you know, be 
be safe with hurricanes. Goodness gracious. Seems like a tornado mixed with water, which is just two recipes. That's just, that's two ingredients, not recipes. Two ingredients for disaster already. My God. <laughs> and getting hit with tornadoes right now. Now that's something up my, up my, uh, you know, road path of my something or other. Not Harles is here. Hi, not Harles. And Ivan Anderson. Hello, Ivan. How are you? How's your day going? Can't complain. Can't complain. We're playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. You know, it's a fun time. How far do we have to go? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I was wondering. I didn't. I, I don't know. What you don't know about the moose in the video today is that we actually. I actually ran past it. And then I had to, like, come back and found it. <laughs> and uh and so it looks like I found the moose really quickly but honestly it took me like 45 seconds to maybe a minute and a half to find that darn moose it was crazy it took way too long so man Torres Jorge Torres how is it going watch the bison me recurve bow they work I watch buck commander every deer season I'm watching one after this hey right on right on I remember uh God, Buck Commander. That really seems like something I remember. Is that like a Bill Jordan? Bill Jordan? Buck Commander? And I remember having VHSs of Bill Jordan. I can't remember the other guy's name. The two of them, though. Hunting all the time. Goodness gracious, I grew up with that stuff, man. Any in real life hunting this fall? Probably not. Probably not. We will see, though. Um, at the moment, my mind is like locked in that I'm getting married in November and like all other planning for this fall has been like tossed out the window. Like, uh, once I get married, then we can continue to plan things. But, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I was going to do a video because my, uh, fiance and I were going to go to Iceland and I was really looking forward to doing some GoPro of like uh, dog sledding because we have some dog sledding um, stuff booked and like uh, northern lights and, and and stuff like that. I was really looking forward to doing a video kind of just covering all that stuff. Um, but at the moment, we're stuck here with a travel ban in the United States, so I don't even know when I'll be able to go to Iceland. We will find out in the future, I suppose. We'll just have to play it by ear. Hopefully, you know, we get a vaccine sooner or later. Goodness gracious. Today has been one of those days where every little thing goes wrong and I'm like 0.2 seconds away from having a breakdown. You know what? Don't do that. Don't do that. Just relax. Take some deep breaths. Make this sign with your hands and just sit cross-legged with your rats. Just relax. And watch the stream. We're going to be traveling through this nice nature of Quattro Colinas. Relaxation. Feel the relaxation. <laughs> water funnel is a tornado formed in water. Whoa. Whoa. Caught a big five plus pound bass yesterday in real life on Joe Pool Lake. Should check it out ever if you're in Texas down by Dallas. On Lake almost every day, so maybe I'll see you there. Case and Bailey, that sounds awesome. That is that is sick. Five pound bass. Right on, bro. That's awesome. I was told by someone that I can't call a bass a toad unless it's six pounds, so you almost caught a, to a toad, according to that person. But, uh, great bass all the same to me. BZ, do you think that the new fishing game that Expansive Worlds is working on is going to be better than Fishing Planet? I think that the, uh, the graphics will certainly be better. That is something, you know, uh, Fishing Planet really has graphics similar to, like, um, the Hunter Classic. You know, it's kind of old, honestly. And uh, when you take the graphics like the Hunter Call of the Wild and you throw it into a fishing game, I'm really hoping that uh, it looks pretty fantastic. But at the same time, the one thing you should remember is that the Hunter Call of the Wild doesn't use brands. I mean, uh, everything that they have in this game um, is a made-up brand. The Eckers, the Vasquez Cyclone, the Virant, Virant, whatever you want to say, they're all made-up brands. Versus Fishing Planet actually uses real brands. And, uh, you know, it's a well-made game versus, I don't know, I, it's it's touchy. It's a touchy little space there. There's another one. I was trying to see if there would be any more red deer over here. Um, because, you know, Hunting Simulator 2 also has brands, but at the same time, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, 
Doesn't hit me the same way. Doesn't hit me the same way. What part of Kansas do you live in? I'm living in Kansas City at the moment. Um, Kansas City, Kansas, bro. Good morning from Australia. Skippy, how are you? Good to see you in the chat with a little kangaroo. That's awesome. Today is definitely a moody day, indeed. Good very early from the UK, not Harles. Goodness gracious, how early is it? There's a mouflon over there. Hanging out with this red deer. I've had three troll diamonds, an actual diamond, two messed up diamonds. Ah, oh, and Stevens. Practice makes perfect. You'll get it. You'll get it. But at least it sounds like you did get one, so that's good. The plan is planned. Yes, indeed. I have a friend in Iceland. Well, that's cool. Can't wait to be get back in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Mr. Cool of God. The Hunter Call of the Wild. Can't wait for you to get back. That's the way it goes. They never confirmed a game. They were surveying the player base and what they would want in a fishing game. Yes, exactly. Um, and, and that's that's totally fine, too. I mean, we never said that they were coming out with one this winter or anything like that. The whole video was just about that, you know, they were thinking about it. And these are some features that they were uh, thinking about having in the game. Um, you know, is it really what it was all about, you know? Okay, so these move on. I do. I got. I see the wind now. I see the wind. The wind is a little, little scary for them. I understand. That one's, no, no, that's not gonna work. Okay. I don't see any biggins. There's no biggins over here. Maybe we'll see something big over here. Oh, there's some red deer. Ah, dang it. Dang it. Show us Bjorn. Bjorn is busy. Bjorn's in a meeting. Maybe later on when he's not so busy. Haven't been here in a while. What's up, Casey's Ultimate Outdoors? You know, we're just doing the same old, same old, man. But now we're in a, a, a quadriculinus, so that's pretty good. Hey, man, man. First time ever watching you do anything. Get something good for me. I, I hope so. Look at that. God, I really, I really thought that was a melanistic for a second. <laughs> There's a roe deer, roe deer, roe deer. Oh, let's just get this guy. Do something like that. Smally. Oh, man, that is a, that is a good smally, then. When it's here, you need to make a hunting video. See, the thing is, and uh, if you watch my FAQ about hunting and fishing, I don't really hunt anymore. Uh, so uh, lots of people keep asking me about hunting and, uh, if you'd watch the video, then, you know, I don't really do that. So I don't know why people keep asking me. <laughs> do you recommend buying Photoshop or wait until I get in school to get a student discount? Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember if there is a student discount. There certainly might be like, uh, cause it does. It's all with creative cloud. It's all monthly. It's like a monthly subscription service. So I'm not sure. Um, if it, if it would be uh, or not, what, uh, what are you going to school for? T-Mock just got all the DLC. Hope you get a big besieges Ibex. I hope so too. By golly, that would be nice. Look at that. We got some more mouflon over here. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. Oh, is that a different one? That is a different one. Oh, he's just, oh man. I pulled the trigger on that guy. That hind was in front of him. I'm not crazy about these big beards. Not crazy about them, but they're okay. I understand that the red deer have, you know, a somewhat of a beard. Can we get this guy? He's alert with the air rifle. That's a long shot. Oh no. One behind that rock. This is a long shot with the air rifle. We do it right between. Thread it. Thread. Thread the tree. Now all of my docs are gone, and now I have to restart Hunter McCrone. I I know what it's like to restart, and uh, you know it, it it's it hits you hard, but it's kind of fun after you get started. You know, thinking about all the new stuff you might see. Oh, stop. Stop. 
How did that happen? I just kept seeing the dirt fly up behind him. I know some of those were off, but I felt like that last one should have got him. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. Oh, well. Let's get these red deer. We were kind of just taking pot shots of that guy anyway. Okay. Okay. Where's this dude? For me, it's the hardest map to get a diamond. I tell you what, there are a lot um, of animals here. There are a lot of animals on Quattro Colina, so you'd think that it would be easy. This isn't the way to go. There he is. Um, but yeah, I think the only diamonds I've gotten on Quattro Colinas have been, uh, red deer, honestly. Which is strange. And missed it by that much. It's a good looking rack, though, for level six. I like how big and wide he was. Showing the day in the life of Bjorn, man, I swear it would just be like eight hours of laying on the, laying on the couch or laying on the floor. Which, you know, might be cool. Maybe it'd be like those fireplace videos you watch during Christmas or something. Just a video of Bjorn just laying there breathing, you know, or, or snoring or something. That could be fun. I could see that. <laughs> Strap the GoPro to his collar. There you go. See, now we're coming up with ideas. This is why, this is why I hang out with all of you. Brainstorming sessions. They're just big brainstorming sessions. Tantan's here. Ivan Anderson, love your Fishing Planet videos. Hey, right on, bro. Thanks for watching them. Um, we'll be doing Fishing Planet on Wednesday if you want to swing by and say hi then. Real Cringeless Games, how's it going? Good to see you. You're new. Haven't seen you before, but I'm glad you're here. Most of the beard is just the spotting highlight ba being buck wild and way out there. You know, and that may be it. Maybe I'm just thrown off by the highlight and the actual beard itself is okay. There's some over there. Those look like Mouflon, though. How many will find a big Mouflon? I don't know. Dove season America, heck yeah. Man, I used to I, I used to love duck, dove hunting. Um, I don't know. There's, there's, uh, there's some gray area. There's some gray area with the hunting. Maybe, uh, maybe a dove hunt would be fun. BZ, you should see the goats and sheep in Russia. My dad used to bring them from mountains with their huge horns, and they were big. The sheep were, are like dogs there in Russia. Oh my goodness. We used to do goat fighting, and ours would shatter the other goats' horns. Oh my god. Why does that seem so Russian? <laughs> Amazon says my package will be delivered by 9. It's currently 854. Tropical storm is coming. I don't think I'm getting it. Ooh, I don't think so either. I had such a good day hunting Quattro yesterday. I know, I saw that. Man, you, yeah, came out like a bandit. That was sick. Melanistic Mouflon as well. Ethan Asbury, you are fine, man. It's only 7.57, by golly. We got started 27 minutes ago. You made it within the first half hour. I think that's pretty good. There's a roe deer. Let's see, let's see. There was a red deer making noise down by the side of this watering hole here. Maybe we don't want to run. Ooh, there's more red deer. Where's the stag? Where's the stag? Show us the stag. God, it was the mission wolf. See, I haven't, I haven't even got to that yet, Sharon. And I haven't even put out the uh, the video for Quattro Colinas either. And I was thinking about it. And uh, with Silver Ridge Peaks finally coming out on console here next week, I don't think I will get the Quattro Colinas. It's going to have to wait till after Silver Ridge Peaks. Yes, one million times yes. <laughs> what lakes do you fish in real life? You know what, when I was growing up, I used to fish uh, Milford Lake all the time. Um, that was like the go-to lake for uh, for my family. I don't know what it was. There was a, f I think there was one closer to our house in our city, um, but it just wasn't as good, I guess. So, I don't know. That's really the only one though. Other than that, always just fished rivers and ponds and stuff, farm ponds, um, ponds out on the uh, bombing range around uh, my hometown. Those were pretty good. 156 yards. Oof. Oof. Can we do it? I honestly, I, I need to just go to a target range and just practice with this air rifle because I don't even know. 150 yards. 
those red deer going. Oh! See, that seemed close. He knows out of breath. Couldn't get another shot on it. He knows out of breath. We needed a reload anyway. Whatever. Ah, goodness. We'll get we'll get a long shot on one of these darn air guns sooner or later. <laughs> I played Call of the Wild yesterday, killed a diamond moose, and fell asleep online. I remember you saying that, yeah. Jeez Louise. You should switch over to SRP. Well, that might be. That might be. That might be an option. Um, I try to stay with, like... There are some people who really don't want to see Silver Ridge Peaks. Just because they don't have it. That's a decent 7. Um, they don't have it on a console yet. And so I've just been kind of... Re respecting that if people bring it up then we'll switch over to it but uh yeah haven't been playing it a lot recently anyway that he's facing away we actually have a pretty decent shot at him i guess let's see here nice two red deer there 350 and 320 or so. I'm gonna head out. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Sounds good, not Harls. Ten year old brother does we live on a farm apparently in real life farming isn't enough. <laughs> Hope I catch a 20 pound channel cat. That would be sick, Kason. I would be jelly, bro. I did not get even close to that. Ooh, that's a uh, ooh da 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 da, ooh da 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 da. That's a good size road here. Yes, come back. That's a good one. Yeah, he's coming back too. <gasps> oh, good deal. I love good size road deer. I never seem to get a diamond. Or a level three at that. But I still love seeing good size ones. All the same. I treat them like a diamond. Oh geez, we got this female over here now too. Oh god. Where's the buck? She's running. Um, where's this buck? Is he behind this tree? Can I not see him? Well, the red deer are coming back. That's a small one. Ooh. See, I see the small one right there. We're gonna absolutely demolish this road here. If we can find him. I think he's like right on the other side of this bush right here. <laughs> Air gun for the win. Just need to find that bigger one now.
I really do hope they add Norwegian elk hounds. That would be sick, wouldn't it? Rock at acapella. See, we shot a 65 to 77 roe deer the other day. And it was small, so I was really hoping that this one might be okay. Let's walk for a bit. We're walking. Wait, who do we have, comrade? The Russian one, Floofy one, and who's the last one? Who's the last one? I think it's just regular old Doge, but he changed his name, didn't he? Sam Brotherman, how's it going? Don't, don't say hi too many times or your old chat will get deleted, you silly guy. <laughs> you only have to say hi once. I will see it. Don't you worry about it. You should play Minecraft. Now that is fun. Let's just stop hunting and play Minecraft. <laughs> we were streaming Minecraft for a little bit. My brother and I were streaming Minecraft. That was pretty fun. I enjoy good Minecraft. Good Minecraft session. Okay, he's going off this way. Gosh darn it. Just need to figure out where he's gone off to. Zach's not here yet. No. What are you drinking tonight? Ooh, I've got a clear glass. Clear glass of fun stuff. And then I've got um, a blue moon. A blue moon. Um, which is a non-alcoholic drink that I named after an alcoholic drink to any uh, YouTube people listening and wanting to demonetize anything. My god, where is this road here going? Oh! No! No! Bastard. <gasps> Goodness gracious. Zack Spaden makes me sad. Man, that thing just keeps on living. That is a sturdy fish he raised from a babe. He raised from a babe. <laughs> Leroy, Levi Ray Zook. How's it going? Oh, we're stuck. No. Well, that's a female warning call. My Switch Joy-Cons are broken and all stick drifts and it makes it impossible to play anything. That is terrible. It's like a nightmare. So sorry if you're lost, not Arles. Okay, this is a wide open space. We should be able to see him. Right. Right there. Ooh, ooh. Is that the female? You thought Bo was an alcoholic. Sorry, Bo. Ah, yeah. uh, why would you think that? Why would you think that? Bro, dear. Saw him. I, I saw one of them. 
All right, there's the female. Which means that the male must be the one that we saw go into this tree. That's him. That's him. That'd be him. He's a decent sized one. I'm trying to see if he has a fourth point on there. What are you doing? What are you doing, hogs? You're just messing with me. He is way over here eating in these darn trees. Oh, I love the darn 45 until times like this happen. Where we're like in a super weird situation. And Steven, you do what you can do. No pressure, okay? Celeste Whitaker has to go. Sounds good, Celeste. Thanks for stopping by. I'm hooked. It's so fun, Jared. It is a fun game, that's for sure. And uh, it is fun that it's free to play game. Uh, it's just a great game. I enjoy it. I'm hooked. I'm hooked, though. Yeah. That's a good pun. Goodness gracious. I'm sorry for this taking so long. He's just... He's right there, and we're, like, out in the open. There's nowhere to hide. Oh, oh, oh. He's nervous now. He's nervous now. See, now the thing is that he's... If he would turn broadside, we could probably take a shot from here. Man, he is oblivious. Copy of Big Cabell's Big Game. Sorry, I'll read it in a second. Gotta keep my eyes on this road here. Don't want him to run again. Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts on the shelf. Gotta say, dang thing, it still holds up. It is a pretty decent game, isn't it? We actually have a full playlist of that darn game. It is a fun one. All right, I just need you to turn broadside now, bud. Just need you to turn broadside. Can't shoot him with these darn hollow points straight on. Keep waiting for him to actually go alert or something like that. We're getting really close to him. God dang, dude. Show some awareness. Stand up straight. Oh my god. Once we get in these trees, we're going to be invisible. See, now he's really screwed.
Yeah, I mean he's a he's a good good size roadier. Not close enough for a photo. What a freaking idiot. Literally standing right here out in the open. I'm standing out in the open. He's alert. He's alert. He's alert. Turn. Turn. Close enough. He's not. It wasn't close enough. It wasn't close enough. Wow. He's 50 to 75 now. I don't think we got a vital though. Wow, that sucks. He was freaking alert and he turned. I tried to get him on the side there. I mean, if we hit a shoulder blade, that bullet was gonna get lodged in that shoulder. That's just the darn thing with the hollow points. They're real nice. See, it does say bleed rate low though. I don't know. Doesn't say that, it didn't say uh, no vital hit. It just said bleed, bleed rate low. So, might have gotten a vital hit on him. Yeah, could have single loved. I, I, I think that honestly might be what we did. That was a hard shot. I kept waiting for him to turn more. He just never turned. There we go. There we go. He's face in the dirt. Face first in the dirt. All right. Nope, we never did get a vital organ. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Just no penetration. We got about an inch and a half of penetration. Second shot just went into the arm there. No penetration whatsoever. Yeah. Darn it all. I think there's... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say we got robbed, but... <laughs> but we got robbed. 77.3, uh, though. I don't think that's going to make 95%. Dang it. Dude. It's okay. It's a pretty good one. Pretty pretty decent row, dear. All, all the same. We're really close to a uh, uh, outpost over here. Let's just keep on going this way. See what we see. So, uh, what's uh, how's everyone's weeks going? Besides the people in a tropical storm or uh, tornadoes and all that. Hudson Riviere, try standing up. That would have been something. Yeah, we probably could have stood up towards the end there. That that would have might might have worked. Hunter Man is here. The air rifle, interesting choice. The air rifle is a perfect choice. Opticon for Quadricolinus. So many roe deer everywhere. Um, I'd almost recommend it for uh, um, darn, darn it all. Hirschfelden. That would have been a fun one. You got it. Have y'all bought a map DLC? Yes. Play Ark, Bo. It's addictive. I've already played Ark. Yeah, my brother and I used to play Ark all the time. I'm banned from Ark. How are you banned from Ark? Could I've thrown a punch? I know, should have. <laughs> How do you get DLC? You buy them on, on Steam or on the store. Down Thunderstruck on my guitar. That's awesome, Andrew Rides. That's, uh, that is sick. Well done. Christopher Thompson. Christopher Thompson. Christopher Thompson. Very cool. Sam Brotherman. Grant Belosky. Grant Belosky, hello. How are, how, are, how are you doing? Goodness gracious. We went camping. Nikki Klein, depends on what you play. Play on. Yeah. I was told my IP and my town. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I don't play online. I just play private or with friends or something. Oh. 
going hunting for hogs. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna mess up some coyotes. Comrade Doge is here. How's it going, Comrade Doge? It happens regularly to me. Do you play COD? You know, my brother and I used to play COD. Um, a few months back, we started playing COD. Uh, with the, when the new season started, we played COD for a good, good couple of weeks. We even streamed COD a few times. So, um, not so much anymore, though, unfortunately. <laughs> what is up, man? Did I miss anything? Caden, Sherry, not too much. We shot a good size uh, roe deer, but it wasn't good enough to mount in the lodge, so we're just, we're just moving on. Holy Jesus. Look at all these freaking Grados Ibex. Gredos, Grados. There's a four, 224. That's a 101, and this guy is... We never picked up those darn red deer. Oh, crap. <laughs> we gotta go pick up those red deer. I'm trying to see what that one is right there. Okay, so wait. So this one's 88. That one's 101. This one is 104. So he's a bit bigger. 90. Okay. Okay. What are you over there? Level one. All right. And that was 350, did it say? I think it said 350 anyway. All righty. This is the first one. That's the second one. Oh! Darn it all. Turned right as I was firing off the second shot. We shot him in the head. All right, let's go get these guys. Then we're going to have to have to do something. We shot those two red deer over there, and I just never went and picked them up. Oh, God. We're going to take a four-wheeler over there to get those. Everyone forgot about the red deer. Yes, indeed. <laughs> we got stuck on the road here. Can I play with you on the Hunter Call of the Wild? Yes, indeed. We do have community hunts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the next Monday. Next Monday is a community hunt. This Monday got a little uh, out of whack. Next Monday, though, community hunt um, on... S well, I guess it would have to be Quatricolinus. Because, um, yeah... Because Silver Ridge won't be out. Well, I guess it will still be out on PC, though. So we could do Silver Ridge. I don't know. What do you think? Silver Ridge or Quattro Colinas for a community hunt next Monday? Which sounds best? What map would you recommend hunting on? Oh, dude, I like I like all sorts of maps. Uh, just depends on what I'm feeling. I love Verhonga. Verhonga is my favorite map, but no, I know a lot of people who don't like Verhonga. So, you know, whatever you're feeling, I suppose. Hunting for a big rack diamond mule deer. I have a small rack already in a melanistic and albino. All right. Cool. I do. Have, I have a small rack mule deer as well. It's hard to do anything. I'm right handed. That sucks, dude. Well, hopefully your your darn wrist gets better. chatting a bit but you are doing just fine just as long as you don't say the same thing over and over again that's called spam <laughs> I hate when people like uh like new people come into the chat and they just spam stuff because a lot of times like after they get you know timed out like they they probably just leave and it's like, man, if you're new, why would you go into a chat and just spam so that you get timed out? Why would you do that? <laughs> That's not fun. Here we go. Here we go. 92.6. Oh, we didn't hit him in a vital organ. 
Oh, psh, pish posh. How is that not a lung? We must have just didn't even graze the lung. It was that close. It was that close to the lung. I like literally the arrow is touching the lung. That's bull. I'm calling it. I'm calling it bull. That's not that's not it. It should have been a lung shot. We should have got the vital hit for that. Just saying. Just saying. You know, got robbed with the roe deer. Got robbed with this greatest ibex. You know, might as well keep it going. Can we find a diamond to mess up too? That would just keep it keep it going on the right track. Shot your first European bison, Craig Quosek. That's awesome. I hope I said that right. Quosek is it? If not, correct me. I'm back. You should hunt for longer the last half of the stream. Oh yeah. Nikki Klein, yes. Cam Huffman, how's it going? Hudson Riviera, Riviera. Yeah, just want to make sure. Uh, this is my first ever stream watch on the channel. I love it. I'm glad I subscribed to your channel today. Hey, Hudson, thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate it, and glad you were able to make the stream. Grand Dan, did you miss anything? No. We uh, we shot a decent sized roe deer, and we've just been running around doing the bunch of nothing. Um, I hope hoping that we find something cool, but you know, most of the time we're not we're not finding anything cool. I don't know. We we hit up a lot of my favorite spots last stream, and just didn't find anything. Little bit of air gun in our lives. Anything good? Anything good? There you are. There you are. 250. 250. See, the problem is, I don't really want to run over there. Let's get this guy, and then we'll go grab those two roe deer we already shot. Little, little cleanup. Little bit of cleanup in our lives. Where'd this one go? I don't even see the blood. I saw it go from 75 to 50 though, so I know we shot it. Ugh. Where be the blood? Poop. Where the heck is this thing? Where the heck are ya? I'm just trying to find a blood spot. Anywhere. There we go. Finally. Goodness gracious. One of you probably saw that or something. Okay, so what did he do? He ran down? That doesn't seem right. No, see? No, oh, there it is. Huh? I'm back. Not Harles is back. Good deal. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna go here and then we're gonna take a four-wheeler over to get um, those darn red deer that we shot. Improve the respawn. Okie dokie, here we go. This way. Rabbits. I'm a Texan. <laughs> hello, Big Bear. Well, hello there, Jennifer Mockley. How are you? Riker Burnham, how's it going? Riker. I love the name Riker. Riker. 
What do you think if they added trail cameras? Trail cameras would be awesome. Like a live cam you can set up high to look for animals where you aren't and you can only check them at outposts or tents. I mean, uh, I could see it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. I could see it being almost like a cheat, like a drone at some point. Like it can't, it couldn't be like a security camera. Like you just like, instead of actually going there to see what animals are there, you just, you just look at your cameras and then it's like, oh, okay, well, I guess I won't go there. Cause that would just like defeat the purpose of the game of running around enjoying, you know, enjoying the great outdoors. You just like look at your little cameras and stuff. If it could be tied to need zones or something, um, you know, it could tell you, you know, what, what animals are, you know, are there at the time of day or something. You just get like a, a collection of pictures or something like that. And it kind of tells you like, oh yeah, here's a picture of a deer drinking here. And there's a picture of one eating there. And it gives you the times for their need zones or something that could be interesting. But at the same time, it just, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be worth going through all that effort for that little little bit of stuff you know okay here we go we're here we're here by golly where are these red deer one red deer oh there we go Within two days of grinding for diamond bison i got it two piebald caribou and a troll five moose in a couple of hours we'll ride on a little bit of hard work sometimes pays off and sometimes it just pays you with other stuff that you didn't necessarily want but you know it's okay okay so there's one red deer where's the other one that we shot i can't remember it's around here somewhere though i thought it was up higher i thought the one was like down below and the next one was up higher am i not remembering that correctly Last week, urban fishing and a 40 pound carp took my rubber frog. I put that thing into my cooler full of water and aerator and I put it in my monster pond. Well, how about that? That's awesome. Hello, everyone. Brazil is here. Roberto Barbosa Silva. How are you? Glad you can make it. Now, if we could just find these darn red deer. There's a southeastern Spanish ibex. Most times, you see, if you're going to hunt there, hunt those. See, these ibex are really cool. I'll give you that. They're probably my favorite ibex. They're probably most people's favorite ibex. Goodness gracious, I don't know where this other red deer is. I can't even find tracks for it. Okay, giving up on this roe deer in three, two, one. Okay, I have no idea. No idea where it is. Let's go check out. Hmm, let's, okay, we're, let's change the time. You know, we might go ahead and skip a few days just to get some respawns going on. Play Fishing Planet. That's for Wednesdays. Wednesdays we play Fishing Planet, 7.30 to 9.30. Okay. There we go. There we go. Have you gotten a diamond wolf off an eight mythical? I don't think so. I don't think any diamond wolf I've ever gotten was a level nine. And I've shot level nines that weren't diamonds, so I'm not sure. Bronson07, hello, how are ya? <laughs> not Harls is back. Andrew Rides is going to bed. Hey, good night, Andrew. 
I hear wolves. You love this game, but your brother hates it. You know, a similar situation with my brother. He, he tolerates this game. He'll play it with me every once in a while. But, uh, can't get him to play it for too long. You yourself like the Ronda Ibex. I gotcha. Well, we should find some of those over here. Two days off this week. That's not too bad. The one thing I remember about retail is that you usually got some days off. It just wasn't the days you wish that it could be, I guess. Wish you could cross-play PC and consoles. Hey, on Fishing Planet, you can. Um, not on the Hunter Call of the Wild, though, unfortunately. It comes on when you get to the outpost and call the Wild on your guitar. Well, that's pretty cool, Poondocks. That's awesome. Should you buy all the maps because you suck? Well, I don't know. Buying all the maps aren't going to make you any better. But uh, you might have more fun. Playing different maps, you know. Switching between maps or something like that. What do we got up here? We got a Ronda Ibex up here. Making a mating call. Meh. There, right there. There they be. Two threes, uh, three threes, three threes, three threes. Now, Bino, but it spooked it and I could never find it. Ooh, gosh darn. Michael Spencer, good content. Nice work. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate it. Tipsy FPS Gaming. Good evening, good sir. Happy hunting. Hey, thank you so much. We will certainly see, you know. Uh, who knows if it's good at the mo- It's not good at the moment. It's just decent. Nothing to write home about. Mildly infuriating that he didn't make diamond and being max weight, even though I know that the weight and trophy don't affect each other. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Um... But I, I'm not sure. I feel like I might. I remember seeing a black tail recently. Maybe that was yours. I'm not sure. How many rares do you have? That's a good question. I also don't keep track of my rares, so that's a, that is a really good question. Scarecrow is here. How's it going, Scarecrow? Christopher Thompson. Hello. Three threes equals an eight. <laughs> nine. Three threes equals a nine. You know, the funny thing is, like, it made just the same amount of sense saying that it equaled an eight, you know? I heard Spencer's, I got triggered. <laughs> what is the best new gun to buy? Oof. I don't know. It depends on what type of person you are. If you like to shoot, like, a lot, the new M1's pretty fun. You know, you can shoot pretty quickly, big caliber weapon. Um, or, you know, a decent, decent caliber. It's not a 470 by any means, or 338, but yeah. Decent one. Um, otherwise, you know, just, I mean, it just, it honestly just depends on what you're into. The 45 air gun is fun to some people. Um, I enjoy the 30 out six acres. Um, but yeah, just depends on what, what you're into, I suppose. How many times do I need to say that? Depends on what you're into. Depends on what you're into. They need a rare counter. That would certainly make it easier. Do you have a trophy lodge for all your diamonds and rares? No, I just keep them by the map. Um, I keep kind of like similar, I guess, like map areas, I guess. Like I keep my Yukon and Leighton Lake animals together. 
and uh, I'm waiting for them to put out a log cabin style trophy lodge and then I'll take them all out of their current lodge and put them in that one <laughs> along with the Silver Ridge ones I am refusing to mount the Silver Ridge trophies until I get a log cabin trophy lodge at which point I will finally mount them until then they're just gonna sit in my trophy manager well there's a road here uh, we got some wolves way over there Okay. Just saw him. Go into these trees. That one's like a floating duck now. There he is. So fifty four to sixty five. There we go. There we go. I tried to kill a bison with a 223. Yeah. Did you did did you kill it or did you just try? <laughs> My brother just made a mod that adds a four AK-47 to Call of the Wild. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of mods. Um, you know, a lot of people, uh, I guess, say, you know, or, or have a lot of fun saying, yeah, I've got, you know, 60 some diamonds. Oh, I've got 40 some diamonds and everything like that. And the mods kind of like take the fun out of you saying that. Like, yeah, it's like, I don't know. There's no point to brag about anything if you've added something to the game that wasn't originally supposed to be there. God, that freaking wolf has floated all the way back to us. Jeez Louise. Stupid wolves, you're not a duck. There's your next meme. Your next meme, Squish. It's a duck that looks like a, a, a wolf that looks like a duck. Little bill and everything. My God, Grant Belosky, what do you freaking keep? <laughs> what do you keep posting? I'm so confused. Hi, can I play with you? Hi, can I play with you? I already answered the question. I don't understand. Which lodge do you like going off the animals you have in? I love the the uh, the darn Sasika Safari Lodge, but at the at the moment, the only thing I put in it is the Verhonga animals because why would you put other animals? I mean, it's an African themed lodge. Why would you put other animals that aren't African in it? I don't. Perhaps I've just played too much Zoo Tycoon. Too much Zoo Tycoon, and you put the safari themed buildings in your safaris. I mean, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have your caribou and your moose and your muskox cages in your zoo and then have a bunch of desert themed buildings outside. That just doesn't make any sense. It's just terrible aesthetic. No, no, there's just no style. So why would you put, you know, a caribou in Sasika Safari? It just doesn't make any sense. No style. Look at all them chickens. <laughs> Get zeroing any reason you don't use it. I never zeroed any rifles when I look at a deer in real life. I don't say, oh, 300 yards, better click this thingy up here. No, if it was if it was 300 yards, then we aimed, you know, uh, a few inches above the back of the deer. You know, uh, you know, we didn't we didn't change the zero of the scope. So why would I want to do it any differently in the game? You know, if it's at 300 yards. Then I aim uh, a few inches above the lungs. If it's at 350, then I aim at the top of the back. It's the same thing, and I don't need to use uh, active skill for it. Oh, 
I'm not saying you're bragging, Boondocks. I'm just saying I don't like it. <laughs> I like the 4570, but the penetration is not nearly what it should be, hoping EW buffs it. Yeah, it's been that way for a while. It's unfortunate. I hear what I assume is a roe deer. Okay, so we shot the one wolf. Oh, there's some red deer. Bunch of red deer. Whoa, big male, level four. Oh my God, are you freaking serious? I thought he was going to turn left. So if you were wondering what that random shot was to the left, it's because he was starting to go that way and I thought he was going to take a sharp turn. But he didn't. He just ran straight. <laughs> and then we got the upper neck with that second shot at 364 yards. Jeez Louise. Boaz aesthetic or die. So true. So true. Aesthetic or die gang. Ow. Why y'all YouTube people think it's fun to spam in chat? I don't know, man. Don't know. We don't need mods in game or in live streams. JK. JK. Sorry, mods. We need you. <laughs> Only one of your Sasika Safari collages work. Gosh darn. F the rules. Bo, you've been hitting next a lot tonight. What are you talking about? I haven't been hitting next. You guys are crazy. No, you know me. Shooting next and writing checks, bro. Get out. Get out of town. Seven percent. No, Ahmed. Uh, have you made ramen yet? Ooh, ramen. My brother was watching. He would immediately go to the kitchen and start making ramen. He is a ramen fanatic. A mythical red deer. I shot it in the stomach. Gosh darn. You'll you'll get another chance. I'm sure of it. Look at all them chickens, and that's a level five chicken right there. Oh, why you turn? Oh my god, a level five chicken. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. See, this is when we need pump up music to go like we could time it so that we like right as it's about to drop and hit the base that's when we uh that's when we pick up the animal whoa you a seven you six what are you Looks like a six to me. A filthy six. You are seven, by golly. That's a shocker. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Look at this little chicken here. Ooh -wee. That's a chicken right there. Let's get this little map marker out of the way. Nice little picture there. Diamond Mouflon Lego Just a second, just a second. We're gonna act like we totally did this correctly. We did it. We got a diamond. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> He's a good looking mouflon. We'll put him next to the other diamond mouflon. play five hours song that's what you like type in you type in five hour song r.i.p your eardrums oh no i'm sorry charles wibbly Great job, everyone. You woke up Charles Wibbly's kids. That wasn't my idea, Charles. It may have sounded like my idea, but it wasn't. I swear, though, they've been sleeping through all these gunshots and stuff, but that woke them up. You've been doing some good parenting, Charles. What? Did it hit too low? Oh, I love the sound of the air rifle too. Makes me happy. Is it is it an epidemic sound song, Levi Ray's hook? Because if it's not, then this video will immediately get demonetized, which isn't good. At least all of my songs are copyright free. You know. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're moving on. I just started that watching. Did I miss anything? I just started what watching did. Okay, sorry, Austin Holer. Um, yeah, we shot a decent sized roe deer earlier on, and now we've uh, we've shot a diamond uh, a mouflon, diamond mouflon, up in Quadro Colinas. So you know, first, first darn mouflon. Let's go. What do you want? Get out of here with your roadier stuff, with your roadier games. That's a lot of roadier. I thought they were red deer at first, but that's another roadier. $1.32 million. Cheap.
bargain price. I wish I could. I want all of you to reach underneath your chairs right now. You all got an Elvis guitar. No. Man. Oh, shoot. I didn't even mean to shoot that. My bad. Oh, they, they turned around like... Yes, you rang. Take on Hunt Showdown. <laughs> Be like, I got two racks on racks on racks on racks on racks. Hey, <laughs> how many diamonds do you have? Oh, I think we're on five now on this new on this new account. That's pretty okay, isn't it? I think. I think anyway. Pretty sure we looked the other day and we had four. Now we have five. 54 to 65 there. Ooh, boars. Ooh, boars. Ooh, piece of candy. All right, top notch. I think we've done some damage here. Let's go over here and see if we can find anything down this direction. If you were to pick one game to play, but you can fix it and add on to it, what would you play? Fix it and add on to it. Like, fix the graphics, fix fix everything, update it any way I want to. Relatively easy. Just type it in and it happens. NFL Street, baby. That's what I'm talking about. NFL Street. My favorite game from my childhood. Love that game. Oh my god, it was good. Why they stopped making them or why they stopped, stopped making them good, I'll never understand. One of my favorite games from my childhood. You could make an entire team of football players all from scratch. You could make them really slow. You could make them all really fat. You could do whatever you wanted with them. Seven on seven football. Oh my God. Against NFL athletes on the streets. People are wearing shorts. People are wearing basketball jerseys. People are wearing do-rags and sideways hats. That was a great game. I just If you didn't grow up with NFL Street, I'm sorry. It was a great game. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, that was like a random tangent. You just had to ask me. Just had to ask me what game. Totally not what you expected though, right? More Mooflins, but I don't see. Don't see anything worth shooting is the problem. So we got that 65 to 77 road deer over yonder yesterday. Not yesterday, but the last stream day. Friday, was it? Was it Friday we, we streamed for four hours? Oh, got to cross my feet. Cross my legs, cross my feet. What are those? Jessica Compton, what is up? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Hunting, man. Playing the game with my brother on the PS2. Yes. Yes. That's the way to do it, man. Oh, my brother's back. Playing tennis and getting ice cream. I must be too young to know what this game is. Oh. Do you like football? Were you around in 2005? Did you have an Xbox or a PlayStation in 2000? I think it was 2005. Because that's, I think that's when it came out. That was a good game. Oh. 
NFL Street. Then they had NFL Street 2. Oh my, that was even yeah, that was even more interesting because then it became like they had like a it became like a football RPG where you like created a character and then you like started playing football games, like pick up football games around a city and like after you like won the tournament, you'd be able to choose a player to play with you and then it would become the two of you and then and then later on you get a third person and fourth person and fifth until you got seven people and then you started playing against other teams still winning tournaments and then you could choose one of the people on the other teams to like join your team dude nfl street i'm telling you one of the best football games ever made level eight mythical wolf there oh there's there are a couple of them laying on the ground too the wind is blowing straight their direction Right in the lungs. Stop running. Stop. Are you on front of the rock or behind it? You're behind it. Okay. That was answered very quickly. All right, two wolves down. We'll go fight the rest, I guess. Let's go. Luca Langoni. How's it going, Luca? When I die, I want my coffin to be carried by them coffin dancers. By them coffin dancers. Yeah, that would be cool. I was six in 2005. Ugh, and you didn't have an Xbox? Whoop. I was four in 2005. Can we get a two? A six, four, two. A da, da, da. Later, everyone. It was nice to stop by and watch for a bit. Scarecrow, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it, man. Anyone remember the old Turok games? Do you remember the old Turok? Yes, of course. Played them on the Nintendo 64, man. Yes, yes, yes. Played two different ones. Uh, I like the first one better. He's a gold. He's a 38. I don't, I don't really keep... I mean, that's one point off, but I'm still not keeping it. One point off from a diamond. Hey, you guys. Come fight me. There he is. There we go. Got him. Or the Deer Hunter games. Deer Hunter games were good. Deer Hunter games were good. I could play the first one and the second one, and then the third one's graphics were too much for my parents' compact computer, so I couldn't play the third Deer Hunter, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, those were fun games for sure. Tell Zach to get a better tank for his beta. Man, he's too poor. He's too poor right now, Megan. Stop running. Why are you still walking, Heenel? Stop walking. Oh, there's a bunch of red deer over there. What if this is where we find our diamond? Diamond red deer trying to chase these darn wolves for no reason. Just because I want to. Then we find a diamond red deer over here. Ew. Hey, Zach's here. How's it going, Zach? <laughs> At least play five hours when you're done with the stream. <laughs> Five hours. Six hours. Seven hours. Five hours is too too little. Oh my gosh. What's going on with Bjorn? <sighs> Jennifer Mockley, how are you? Who remembers Hunting Unlimited 2010 on PC? You know, I didn't have that game. I wasn't cool enough. I, I wasn't cool enough to have it. Stop, stop. Stupid, stupid. Gave me a chance, gave me a chance. I just wasn't fast enough. Oh, listen to that. Oh, that gentle Spanish guitar there. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God, we've listened to it like three times now. Not Harles is finally going. Oh, okay. Okay, not Harles. I suppose we can let you go. St 
still are you still play it i did see that it was on steam i thought about it and i was like eh if the game looked a little bit better maybe i just don't have the nostalgia of playing it when i was a kid or something like that you know if i had that then i might think about it but i i don't so there's like nothing really nothing really driving me to play it i don't see any diamonds bunch of baloney is what i think okay well let's move on to somewhere else i suppose Maybe there's uh, something over here. Something over yonder. Yo, BZ. Yo, BoZ. <laughs> How's it going? How do you put ammo in the game pass gun on PS4? In the game pass gun? I don't know if I know what you're talking about, Christopher Thompson. Gentle Spanish guitar that I can play. The gentle Spanish guitar. Can we shoot this guy? This girl, I guess. I wanted to shoot it with the air gun. Sound like such a pouty voice. Why don't you shoot it with the air gun? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, da, da, da. oh, no. Where is he? Oh, he's right there in the bush. She, 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 she. Five hours. Yeah, I saw I saw that Levi. It's okay. Matthew, my god, when did you get in, Matt? I didn't even see you. Like what animal do I need for the rifle? I what rifle is it, I suppose? I don't I don't know what it is. D tell me what the name of it is. I can help you then. We're doing it. We're going for it. Oh, she's turned around. Come on. The 270? I would put 270 ammo in it. The Old Dangerous Hunts was another one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. The first one was fun. After that, it became kind of like a Call of Duty Hunter game, which I wasn't crazy about. Indeed. Why don't you lay down, buddy? Take your rest. Take take your socks off. Relax a bit. Do you think you will ever do Call of Duty on your channel? You know, I think if I ever did Call of Duty, I would be, it would be nice um, that I feel like some of you would watch it, but the majority of people would, would not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going with like the whole world. Um, there's just a lot of people who play Call of Duty and they all have like they all try to do like highlights on YouTube. And it's just not one of those things where a lot of people really enjoy watching. You know, people enjoy watching the highlights of like big time streamers and stuff like that, but not just old Joe Schmo who plays a hunting game most of the time. Drop dead muffin. Are there any Rondas over there? Yo, Rhonda. Yo, yo, Rhonda. All right, Bo, my POS phone is dying. I, I haven't heard that brand before. So I will catch you later. Wish you all the best on your hunting expedition. Grand Dan's, thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Hope to see you soon. We got another 22 minutes, everyone. 22 minutes. 22 minutes. And then we're moving on in life in general. Just I'm, I'm going to go off and do other things. Another muffin over there. That's a decent one. Didn't we shoot some Basidis over there? earlier like last stream 54 to 65 there my god we are just littered with very small red deer today isn't it amazing love seeing so many small red deer hey you cut it out <laughs> stupid goat Ah! 
they're coming to get me. <laughs> I'm using the tree for defenses. This could be my diamond roe deer. My diamond roe deer moment. Nope. Nope, definitely not. Definitely not. Can we hit it though? That's the question. Oh! Give it to me. Give, dude! I saw where the freaking cloud was. It was right over its freaking lungs. You've got to be kidding me. That was a good shot. Just saying. Got robbed. Yet again. Does it shock us anymore? No. Now we're used to it by now. Any suggestions on what animal to hunt with? Man, I don't know. There's so many animals, just choose one. Dun, dun, dun. How on the old hunting games you had to actually sight your guns in? Yeah, like the old big game hunters and stuff like that. Oh my god, the freaking guitar. Dun, dun, dun. You should no scope an animal. Yeah. We had a chance. We probably could have. What level do Mufins have to be for Diamond? Level 5, Colby. Make a good fishing game. I think that they... Mm, I think they would put some time into it. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I, a lot of their, I know that a lot of their time goes into the Hunter and the hunting games in general. But, you know, I honestly think um, that they would... They would put in the time for a good fishing game. I, I believe. I believe in them, okay? I think they would. I know a lot of people, when they heard about it, they were just like, oh, great, more bugs to deal with. Meh. Oh, insecticide, so many bugs. Meh. Um, but no, I really do think that they would do, do a pretty good job on it. LaFonda. Nobody's going to get that reference, but whatever. Pfft. Psh. Nobody's going to get that reference. Psh. Ks. Ks. In what galaxy would no one, no one get that reference? Goodness gracious. Um, CTN 101 Shadow between a KTM and a Honda. What is this? Is this is this code? Are we speaking in code now? KTM and a Honda. Are we talking about vehicles? Are we talking about vehicles? Where's Zach? Zach is the vehicle guy. Talk to Zach. I'm the B. I'm only half. I'm only half of the BZ hub. I know nothing about cars. Nothing. I don't know anything. Zachary likes cars though. Ask Zach. Or if it's like a, you know, something. Anything with wheels, just ask Zach. You know, you're wondering. Rollerblades, Zachary. Skateboard, Zachary. Car, Zachary. If you need a song played in the background of your streams. If we, I mean, uh, the thing is, when we stream on YouTube, uh, it has to be off epi Epidemic Sound. And I'm not sure, I haven't found a good, like, Hunter-esque album, I guess. You know, when I'm when I'm playing Fishing Planet, it seems easy. I can just play some alternative hip-hop, 
and it's just a nice little going on in the background and it seems to go with the fishing mood but with hunting it doesn't really go with it, it just doesn't feel right so i just haven't found a good album for hunting which is why you know these streams don't have any music in the background we tried it on uh friday i think it was we tried playing music in the background just i just couldn't find anything man i was like looking and i was like epidemic sound I can go to, okay, so we got, maybe we can go to cinematic? Cinematic. I don't know about that. That seems too, like, I don't know. It seems weird. Sports, we can go to sports. They have fishing, which is what I play. It's what I play when, um, let's see, this is, jeez. World Grooves. Hmm. Hmm. See, I just can't. Yeah, there's not really just, there's just nothing. Nothing that I like the sound of, you know? That doesn't really give you like a like a hunting vibe. It's it's like too much. I don't know, man. What do you think? Is this is this too much, man? Have you ever killed a deer in real life? You should check out my FAQ about hunting and fishing in real life, CT, and I think you would enjoy it. Ew, religion. This sounds like a religious song. Is that what's going on? It did give me like a Hobby Lobby vibe. I don't know if you have Hobby Lobbies in your neck of the woods, but that's the vibe I was getting from this song. I don't know. So that's why we just play without any songs. <laughs> Let's go down to the tripod. August 11th. August 11th is the release date. Thanks, Squish Flint. 100% more now that I'm not sneaking around all the time. Yeah, there's a time and a place for sneaking, but you just need to get around. That's one of the good things about the Call of the Wild versus real life is at least where I gr grew up is that there's a lot of fields, but there's also a lot of forest and stuff. And if you run around at all in the forest, you're never going to see anything um, in real life. But uh, in the game, you can run around quite a bit, see things off in the distance and then stop, slow down. And, uh, and and take your time to get close to something. So we got a 156 there, 175. That's why that one's decent. That one's decent. 168. Got some decent ones. Here we go. Here we go. 157 there. I think that 170 something is going to be our best bet. But that one. No, nope, that's 156. 170 there. 174. There's 174. 168. 170. So I think we might be going for that gray one. There sure is a lot of them. All right. Let's go. Let's get to shooting, shall we? 174 and then 170 right there next to him. Ooh, that's the 175. Okay. No! Who was on reload duty? Uh. What the heck, guys? Just kidding. 
You would think after all the days I've played this, I would learn to reload, but just doesn't work out that way, man. Where'd the gray one go, dude? There he is. Right behind that tree. Right behind that tree. Ah! You want to be in the military, what branch should you be in? I think if you're thinking about branches, you should really think about what you think the rest of your life is going to be like. I mean, do you want to be away a long time? Do you want to start a family? Um, you know, because if, if you want to start a family, being away for a long time isn't great. It's not great for anyone. Um... You know, for that reason, you might enjoy being in the Air Force because at least you're, you'll be, you know, a, a lot of Air Force bases are in the United States. You stay, you stay in the United States, I guess. It's a good way of putting it. If anything, you could go into the National Guard or something, kind of be in the military, but um, you can volunteer to go out of the United States if you want to. Um, that's That's an option. Nothing wrong with that. Reserve. There's Naval Reserve as well. Um, Air National Guard. Lots of options. You know? Okay. Now they're all way over here again. Stop. Stop, please. Oh! <laughs> see y'all whenever I can. See you later, Boondock Fishing. Michael Spencer, I know you don't like bow hunting and live streams. Man, if we do any bow hunting, it is uh, it is for bison. <laughs> My favorite thing to hunt with a bow in live streams. How about you stop running so much? Bo, were you in the military? I was in the Naval Reserve through ROTC. Um, so I went to college, went into officer training corps, was in for about two years, didn't get a scholarship, so I got out of an ROTC. So I was taking classes to become an officer in the Navy, but didn't get a scholarship to keep going on. In your friend shot. That sucks. Okay, so we got a handful. I think we spine spine shot this first one. Let's see. I will say that's the that's the one downfall of like shooting a bunch of uh darn goats over here. Everything looks the same. Oh, we didn't. Okay, good deal. <laughs> got it in the heart. At least we got this one in the heart. Well, right on. Darn it all, 140. What spots would you recommend for Kudu? You know there are a good there are a good couple of spots for Kudu. 
151. The top two, uh, are, I guess, watering holes at the top of the Verhanga map is in the trees. And, uh, yeah, it's easy to lose them. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Brace for impact. Aren't all of our phones constantly dying? I mean, come on. And a new player shot the crap out of it. Of course. Darn new players. Why do we even have to have new players? Why can't everyone just be veterans already? God, get good. I only have one bullet for this darn thing. Four minutes and one bullet. That's all we need. That's all we need. Diamond besieges Ibex right here. Nope. Nope. JK. JK is all. Okay, let's see. Where should we go now? Australian or an African map, what do you want to see next? Ooh, that's difficult. I feel like we have... I would love another Aust uh, African map. Uh, there's a lot of animals in Africa that we don't have. Um, at the same time, I feel like we have a lot of Australian people who play the Hunter Call of the Wild that are being uh, poorly represented at the moment. And I think they would really love to have an Australian map. So, uh, for, for our friends in Australia, I would have to say at the moment, an Australian map would be pretty awesome, but you never know. You never know. I say that until I see those giant greater kudu horns or something like that, then I might second guess. Ooh, ooh, greater kudu or uh, a giant eland or something. Oh, we need to get some of these southern lakes, man. Just don't have them at the moment. We could see cows. What? Another American map. What What animals do we not have in the hunter in the United States? I guess other than smaller ones. Raccoons and stuff like that. I'm trying to think of like a like a big animal that hasn't been represented yet. Coos deer, javelina, kind of deserty stuff. I know a lot of people have brought up swamps, but I honestly have no interest in a swamp. Um, we had Rougarou Bayou on the Hunter Classic, and I just thought it was the most boring map ever. Other than the duck hunting, because of course that was the only map to hunt ducks, so. Immediately shot a thousand ducks. Desert mountain goats. Like a desert bighorn sheep. Man, I don't even see any animals down here. I have not seen one animal yet. Oh! They are calm, they are traveling away all the same. Ow dad, we don't have ow dad in the United States. If we do, then they brought them over here to be hunted and killed for money. Wild hogs, yeah. Wild hogs are pretty prevalent in Australia, too, though, so we could have those in Australia. 
Just like in the Hunter Classic, we can hunt hogs in the Australian map. I see the hinds, I just don't see any stags yet. Doll sheep. Now, doll sheep, I think, would be added to the Yukon. I would love doll sheep to be added to the Yukon. Kind of like how we had Gemsbach and Lions added to Verhonga. I feel like the doll sheep could easily be added to the Yukon. A rabbit! Can't tell if he's on the other side of the hill or not. He is. Dang it. Oof. Row deer. Row deer. Odor. Here we go. Got him. God, it was just a tiny bit too low, I think. Look at these red deer. None the wiser. Literally shot that row deer right in front of them. They have no idea. Oh! Get knocked dead, freaking row deer. Our first distant shot. Distant shot. We got the bees you have a schedule. What's tomorrow? Nothing. <laughs> no, we don't do anything on Tuesdays. Tuesdays are break day. And then uh, I'll go back. Get back into it on Wednesday. Where we'll do Fishing Planet on YouTube. So look forward to that. Fishing Planet on YouTube. There is a different species of turkey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like five different species of turkey. So if you want to get real specific on turkey, we could do that. Don't feel like we need a whole American map for that, though. What about a New Zealand map? Ooh. Yeah, I like the idea of a New Zealand map. But I feel like we just end up with another red deer. And I think we could avoid the red deer by doing an Australian map. Because we have a lot of maps that have red deer in them. Get the gun out. Fast, 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 fast. Yes! Let's go! Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want. Oh my god, we're gonna get copyright struck! That was my cover of that song. I am providing commentary so that I cannot be copyright struck. It was actually under parody law. There are a lot of cool goats in New Zealand though. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I mean, if I feel like uh, it's not a, pr it's not what I would choose to be like right now. Like right now, I would love to see an Australian map and an African map. And if you want to do a New Zealand map after that, then I think that would be great. There's a lot of animals in Australia that we could do. There's a lot of uh, animals we still have left in Africa. And uh, yeah. What are you? You a gray? Oh man, if that was just a little bit further, we would have hit him. All right, let's go pick up this gray, and then we'll then we'll call it a day. Laser beam, an Australian, and he's saying Americans were scared of the snakes here, and now we have motion lions that just walk on their porches. Motion lions. Ooh. Boondogs is back. There are a lot of cool goats in New Zealand. Yeah, I already said that. Question, what animals can you hunt in Australia on Classic? Ooh, feral goats, feral hogs, uh, kangaroos, um, European hare, European, or the European rabbits, I think. Um, goodness gracious. Because the thing is that they had two different Australian maps. So that was like one of them. I'm trying to think if there was anything else on that map. And then on the other map, they had like, oh gosh, a couple different type of deer, um, water buffalo, 
uh, Bantang. They had this type of goose that was there. That was interesting. Um, but yeah, they're two different Australian things. I feel like they could just make one big Australian map that's deserty, and then it kind of becomes, I don't know, boreal or whatever you want to call it. Gets into the lush green on the opposite side, you know, as you kind of make your way into the jungle. Kind of do a little bit of both. That way we get a good range of animals. Is my idea anyway. Anywho, that's going to do it, everyone. Hope you had a good time. You know, I'm here late by two hours, frick. <laughs> so true, Amber. What were you doing, Kale? Goodness gracious. But uh, I hope you had a good time. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. You missed it. Ah! 7.30 to 9.30, not 9.30 to whatever 30. 9.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. Nah, you're good, bro. I don't care. We got that diamond mouflon. We uh we got um oh a good sized road deer, I guess. I don't know. It was it was just pretty lax. But I really appreciated, you know, everyone stopping by, saying hi. We got uh, even a few a few names that I hadn't seen before. That was great. Including Mozu Kool-Aid, man. I don't remember you being here before. But thanks for being here. That was awesome. Junior 1532. Uh let's go with um i don't even know man i don't think i have a favorite i think i've said k buffalo and elk in the past and everything i honestly don't have a favorite but uh yeah anyway arrow edge how's it going reagan nash yeah all right everyone well uh squish and matt thanks for uh moderating and uh take care everyone those of you in the tropical storm stay safe and uh yeah that's gonna do it as always, everyone, remember, boop. One planet, one family, game on.